Good morning vlog. How are we all today? Um, I'm coming at you from Nelson and I had planned to come here and video a beautiful yoga flow for you guys somewhere lovely in Nelson but it's really wet it's kind of cold so instead I'm going to film a vlog about places to eat in Nelson if you are gluten free and dairy free. So I'm really excited to share with you guys some of my favorite food places. I'm going to be taking you to Mama San tonight. I cannot freaking wait. But in the meantime, I have just been to Teology and picked me up some boba drinks. So I got two boba drinks to share with you guys. Um, one I've had before, one I haven't had before. Um, and you can get them made dairy free if you ask for almond milk. And yeah, just double check with your boba place if it's gluten free, but most of them are like boba is traditionally gluten free. So yeah, most places are, but just double check before you have uh, boba to check that it is gluten free and dairy free if you are gluten free and dairy free. But I've got two drinks today. One is a mango passion fizzy one and one is a strawberry mochi and I added some pearl boba to it. So let's give them a try and see what they're like. Just put you guys back here. Whoop. Falling all over the place. I don't have like a, um, a thing to hold you guys on, like a tripod or anything. So we're just working with what we've got today because again, didn't really intend to film this video, but we're going to go with it. So let's try the mango passion fizzy one first. I'm a little bit concerned about getting into this because it's like bubbly. There we go. Got it in. Oh yeah, it's yellow inside obviously. Mango passion. It smells good. And it looks fizzy. Let's go. Mmm. It's actually really yummy. Super sweet, but it's got popping boba. I don't really like popping boba. Mmm. Although to be fair, with the fizzy, it does kind of feel a little different having the popping boba. It is quite mango-y. I love mango though. Almost with a mix of like lemonade, like Sprite flavor. Mm. Super refreshing. But like I said, not a super fan of the popping boba. I feel like it kind of gets stuck in your mouth a little bit. Um, but that's all right. Got to try these things. I do like the, the fizzy kind of texture to it. I love a fizzy drink. Um, obviously, I don't drink fizzy a lot because I generally am refined sugar free. But I drink a lot of fizzy coconut water. Um, and it's my favorite. So it's nice to have something fizzy sometimes. So now we've got the strawberry mochi one. And I added some pearl boba to it. Oh, man. These are so hard to get the straws in. I'm sure there's some technique. And now I'm like ruining the straw. There must be some technique to this. I don't know. I'm just going to put my finger in it. There we go. That works. <laughs> so, looks like strawberry milk, basically. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. So good. I love the boba texture. Oh, it's chewy. Chewy, but not too hard. I don't know about you, but I'm such a textural person. I love different textures and things. So this has got the the milk, obviously, the mochi, which is like a little bit thicker, and then the pearl boba on the end. And the pearl boba is quite little, though. Smaller than what I'm kind of used to. Mm. But I think this is my favorite. Mm. Definitely good with the almond milk, too. Um, and I love the chewiness. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but Boba is now one of my favorite things on this planet. And I can't really get a good one at home. So I love it when I come to Nelson and get some. Or when I go to Christchurch, I quite like Gong Cha and um, Northland Small. That's a pretty good one. But yeah, I'm just going to finish up my Boba drinks. And go do a little shopping. And I will bring you guys along when I find some more food. All right. I am now at Bobby Frank's. I'm going to go and get some lunch, show you guys. Hopefully it's delicious. It was last time I came here. So 
I'm really excited. of New Zealand. Um, I had to take a pit stop and go for a pee because after drinking those teas and the juice and some water at lunch I was so busting. Um, but yeah we're here about to walk up the hill and go to the centre of New Zealand which I don't think is technically not the centre of New Zealand but you know it's got a nice view and I've got time to kill so why not right? But I ditched the jacket because I'm walking up a hill, so I'm not going to need it, right? But yeah, I love this track. Um, I used to hate it when I was a teenager, but I very much enjoy it now, so excited to get a wee walkies in. to the top. Isn't it beautiful? So peaceful and lovely up here. I just I love it so much. But um, it's just nice to get away. It's so funny how different mindsets can affect you so much. So when I was in high school it was always I had to come up here. I was being forced to come up here. I didn't want to come up here. And now it's like my mindset has changed to one where I'm like so excited to come up here because my body craves the movement I love it so much and it just wants to be out in the fresh air breathing feeling and yeah the mindset makes all the difference let me tell you but also something else I wanted to touch on here um, is I'm actually in Nelson because I have a counseling appointment today um, and I just wanted to touch on it because I wanted to share with you guys that it's okay to not be okay and if you are feeling down, if things are going on in your life that you're really struggling with, it's actually really good and helpful to reach out to somebody who can understand and help you through it. And there's no shame in asking for help when you need it. Um, I spent a couple of days in bed, maybe about a month and a half ago, not knowing how to move forward, basically, because I was struggling with the fact that I was in a job that I no longer love. I've been doing it for 10 years and I want to move on and I want to move out of the town I live in and not really knowing how to get there. 
So after those two days in bed, I knew that I couldn't do that anymore and that I needed help. So I reached out to a counselor and I found a really wonderful one who's been helping me and here in Nelson. And I'm going to go and see her today for a session. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to put on here, this is, you know, just me saying that if you're not okay and you need some help, reach out to somebody because it's really not fun when you're in that state where you can't even help yourself. Let me tell you, I know, <laughs> I've dealt with it a few times. Um, and yeah, it's okay to ask for help and reach out to the people that love you because I also did that and I have really wonderful friends and family who have supported me so much and I'm so grateful for them. But yeah, just a little something that I wanted to share with you guys while I was on my walk. But yeah, let's enjoy this view for a minute. Alrighty, so your girl went all out for dinner because favorite place. So I had to get a few different things just to have um, some of each. So I got some summer spring rolls, which are so yummy. I love these fresh spring rolls and they come with a dipping sauce. And then I got some crispy spring rolls, which also come with the same dipping sauce, but these are just fried. So, so yummy. <laughs> and satay chicken skewers, literally one of the best satays I've ever had in my life. And then I got Ban Hanoi, which I don't really know what it is. There is some meat, some spring rolls, some noodles, and some dipping sauce. So yeah, that's my dinner. I probably will not eat all of this, but you know, maybe I will. I don't know, we'll see, but let's dig in eh, and give it a go. Open the dipping sauce. I'm always like super weary of these things. So it looks like it's got some like pickle or cu cucumber and onion in it. Smells yummy. Smells quite pickly. And the rolls have vermicelli noodles. Looks like cucumber, lettuce, carrot, beetroot, and pork. Mm. Yeah, you can definitely taste the pork in there. I love these rolls. They're, um, they're like super chewy. I love the chewiness of them. Again, textural. So, so yum. Mmm. Definitely a must have. Um, now the crispy ones have like vermicelli. I think they've got meat in there, but I can't actually see any. And some vegetables. I'm just going to use the same dipping sauce because might as well, right? It's the same thing anyway. Mm. Yum. Definitely more of a you know, oily flavour, I guess, but still yum. And the different texture. Mm. Kind of almost looks like latticed, you know, like lacy, almost. I don't know. Maybe I'm pulling shit out my ass. And then the satay, like skewers look how good these look like the satay is so chunky and yummy and peanutty but there's also snow chicken <laughs> mm. that's so good the chicken is like just so yummy and then the satay is like slightly spicy and and it's got chunks in it and it's just like all round just good. Mm. Absolutely can't go wrong. <laughs> I'll come back to them momentarily. I'll just try this um, vermicelli. So it looks like pork. Mm, definitely pork. Kind of barbecue -y, Almost. In flavour, I guess. Mm. 
and maybe some ginger and spices in there super yummy actually i really like that um and there's some salad and stuff on the bottom so that's yum i'm really um gonna dig into this this is gonna be i think my favorite i don't like i love it all i think vietnamese or you know asian inspired food is some of my favorite foods because it's so full of flavor i feel like as kiwis we're we're kind of I don't know, toned down flavor, I guess, because it used to be like meat and three veg, right? So it's really nice when you can go and like have these things that are so full of flavor and so delicious and tasty and yummy. Mm. So good. So this is all from Mama Sun. And um, they do lots of good and free dairy free options. And um, yeah, I also always order up heaps when I'm at Mama Sun because it's so damn good. So I'm just going to enjoy the rest of this, eat up, watch some TV, maybe some Dragon Ball, because if you know me, I like Dragon Ball. <laughs> and yeah, just go from there. Enjoy my night. Have a great day. Have a great night. And I will probably see you tomorrow. Oh, I might have dessert, actually. We'll see. Alrighty. Now time for dessert. I got this free aunt earlier from Victus. Um, I really like Victus's uh, like breakfast food. And they do some good baking that's good and free and dairy free. This free and was one thing there that I saw today that I was like, I must try that. So this is going down for dessert. I really like the chewiness of free ands, but I need to try it with the chocolate and the berry because I didn't get any of that this time. Mm. The berry is good. I almost would go as far as to say it doesn't need the chocolate, but the berry is yum. Mm. It's like hunger chocolate. Mm. There's a big hunk of chocolate in the middle of it. Doesn't need it, but I guess adds more texture. But that's what I've eaten today. And Nelson. So there are a few places that I went. I went to Theology, Victus, Mama San, and Bobby Franks. All had some gluten-free, dairy-free options, and all were delicious.